right. Um, in question number two, um, it says a rectangular prism has a base that is a right triangle with shorter sides that measure six centimeters and eight centimeters. The height of the prism is 10 centimeters. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I want to draw a picture of what's happening. So it says the base right here is a right triangle. So right here we have a base that's a right triangle. And remember there's always two bases whenever we have a prism because they're always parallel to each other. So this right here is what's going to end up being my prism right here. So if you see this is my prism and it says that the shorter sides uh, measure six and eight. So this is six and this is eight, which means uh, these two are my shorter sides because the last side is my hypotenuse. And then the height of the prism itself, which is this length right here, is going to be 10 centimeters. Question A asks us to predict how doubling the height affects the volume of the prism. Um, obviously, this is individual to you. This is just your prediction. It's not right or wrong. So I want you guys to um, pause and actually do that part if you haven't done so already, and then come back to me. I'm not going to answer A. We're going to answer B. Okay, so for B, it says check your prediction by calculating the volume of the original prism and the volume of the new prism. So in order to find the volume of the original prism, uh, remember any prism, it's always the area of the base times the height, no matter what shape the base is going to be in any prism, okay? So let's find the area of our base first. So the base the shape of our base is a triangle. So I'm going to do um, this length times width divide it by 2. So I'm going to take 8 and 6 and divide it by 2. Okay, this is just how we find the area of any triangle at all. So it ends up being 48 divided by 2, which is 24. So for my um, original prism, The volume is equal to the area of the base, which is 24, times the height of the prism. And we know the height of our prism here is 10 because that's the length that connects our two shapes together, our two bases together. So the volume of the original one is 240, and I believe this is centimeters, so centimeters cubed. Now, I want to figure out what's going to happen if I... Um, double the height. So to find the area of uh, the new prism, or sorry, to find the volume of the new prism, I'm still going to do the area of the base times the height. And the base, the side lengths do not change, so the area of the base is still 24. And the height is now, instead of 10, will be 20. It's two times bigger, okay? So right here, we'll have an even bigger pyramid. I'm sorry, not pyramid, prism, excuse me. So we'll do 24 times 20 instead of 24 times 10. So this is going to be right here 480 centimeters cubed. So therefore, when you double the height, you will double the volume. because the volume here is twice as big. Now question D says, is this true in general? Question C says, was your prediction accurate? Go ahead and answer that yourself. And then question D, is this true in general? Um, so if I double uh, the length of, or excuse me, double the height of my prism, I'm just basically stacking two of the same prisms on top of each other, so the volume should double. So yes, it is true in general. So the summarized uh, results would be the same thing. When you double the height, when you double the height of a prism and only the height, nothing else, the volume will double. Okay? Now, one thing I want to make sure you guys understand is that um, 
because right here, this height is to the power of 1. When our scale factor was 2 right here, originally for the height, if it was doubled, then the volume will also be 2 times bigger. Nothing's changing because this is to the power of 1. However, up here, because this was squared, we squared the scale factor, and because this is cubed, we cubed the scale factor. Okay?